you, you guys had a lot of success, um, especially in that first half, getting to the rim. What, what were you seeing there? And kind of, there's a flow like that. What does it do, kind of, to get you in your rhythm? To be honest, we were just kind of in the flow of the game. Uh, we tried to, of course, attack Trey a bit more, um, look for him, put him in some situations, and take advantage of those mismatches. You know, and he was guarding D White. You know, which is already. You know, a tough task for him, and then on top of that, we put him into actions and pick and rolls, and and he has to, you know, switch or, or, or you know, just puts them at a disadvantage, and and we took, yeah, we we, we did that, and um, and got off to a good start offensively, not so great maybe defensively, but then we picked it up also in the second half defensively, and and got the job done. Yeah, what adjustments were made in the second half? Uh, Joe just came in at halftime, and he asked us like. Gave us a, a, a um, I said like a goal, no, to get a, at least one twenty-five quarter, twenty-five point quarter, and I don't know if we got two or one. I think one. We we got the third one, right? Um, so that was the goal, and and we did that, and and uh, even though offensively maybe we again took maybe a step back, but uh, the game kind of slowed down a little bit, and and I think uh, we did uh, we did a good job of, of of stopping some of their actions and. To be honest, you know, offensively they're they're a good team offensively. You know, with Trey being the head of the snake, throwing those lobs and and getting those guys involved, like it's 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 tough to stop them. And you know, I think their coach is doing a really good job. You know, of of, of making them dangerous offensively. So uh, it was on us to kind of pick it up defensively so we can get that separation from them. It's kind of the comfort level at offensively, like. I think the Hawks threw one or two double teams at you, and obviously you pass out. Just, yeah. What's kind of the process there? Yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm, it's it's an adjustment now as the season goes along. Like obviously at first it was just straight up one on one, and then as I you know showed time and time again that I'm, I was being super effective at it, then teams start to do different kind of stuff, and I have to start making different kind of reads. And today again it was like a. It was, they were like floating from the baseline. They weren't really doubling right away, but they were floating from the baseline. So it was putting me in like a, you know, a reading situation, like whether I attack or whether I look for that kick out. You know, so they were doing a pretty good job of kind of like, like playing in that like gray area with that coverage. And and that's on me to make the, that right read and take advantage of those you know mismatches or those double teams and and. Uh, and, but it's you know it's it's on, on pretty much every game is something a little bit different. Uh, I think the coaching staff is doing a really good job of giving me the answers what it might look like, but it, it can be adjustments and things like that. So it's always on the go, and and I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying to be as effective as I can for the team. There were some plays where they, you guys kind of worked the ball baseline, and then you would make a kind of delayed roll through the middle, and they would just kind of drop it back to you for the dunk. Mm -hmm. Have you have you worked in that kind of system before, where it's like one that kind of works? Almost baseline out, and how does that work yeah. for you? Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a read thing, right? Uh, as as the guard goes downhill, um, sometimes rolling too quick, it, it kind of doesn't give you an advantage because the, the the big is in the in the middle of both of us, right? Kind of happened a little bit in the Lakers game. It was tight space, so late pass was not really there, or even a finish for the guard wasn't there, so. Uh, we, we second half of the Lakers game, we did a better job of like opening up that pick and roll and, and getting downhill and having a bit more space. And today again, we kind of try to you know create a little bit separation me from the guard as I roll, and then maybe st slowing down a little bit, seeing if there's a pocket that we can find where the guy can just uh, where our you know D White or whoever can just drop it off to me. Um, and and we did a pretty good job of that. Um, uh, I forgot one more thing. I forgot to add, but whatever. Yeah, pretty much. Joe said uh, Xavier's going to have to get used to this defense that you guys are when he gets here. What's kind of the biggest advice you would give him based on how you learned this defense and what the hardest part was adjusting to it? Um, I think uh, he's going to have his like, uh, uh, processor pretty like pretty working. You know, yeah. he's, It's going to be working because it's uh, uh, a lot of adjustments on the go. Uh, Joe, you know, likes to just boom. We have to be ready to respond. Whatever the coverage is, whatever the change is, whatever the matchup is in that moment, boom, you have to be ready for it. And I think he will he will pick it up and understand that it's going to be like on the go. And and that's a little bit different here, and and it challenges you as a player uh, to respond quickly to whatever Joe sees, you know. And um, and I think I think yeah, I think it might take him a little bit of time, but but once he finds that um, ability to like. 
just switch his mindset on different things, he, he'll be fine. What excites you about playing with him? His ability to defend, right? All kinds of multiple uh, uh, positions, and and um, and yeah, I mean he has he has some tools offensively also that can help us. Uh, but I think he's he's just his body and, and uh, he's built. He's a uh, he's a really strong defender, which he, and, and he can guard multiple guys, which is going to be a, a huge uh, advantage for us. Why were you so excited after you hit that three from the corner? Uh, because I haven't hit one this season yet. And from the we, corner, yeah, right? from the corner, and we talked that about corner it. Corner or any corner? Any corner, <laughs> because I had one in OKC, mm -hmm. and I stepped on the line. <laughs> and today again, I stepped on the line. I was celebrating. I thought it was a three, but at the end it was a two again. No, they so, gave you a three. So, uh? They called it a three, mm -mm. didn't they? Mm -mm. I was Eventually? twenty-six, and then, and no, then at halftime they changed it. Was that a different? No, that was the different okay. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm was sorry. somebody else stepped on it. Sam. They counted, yeah, uh, Sam, and then mine was a two again. So. Yeah, because of my stance or whatever, I can I just cannot hit a corner three, you know. <laughs> so hopefully soon. And then have you and JB talked about the dunk contest? Yes, I was trying to get some information out of him, like what are his best dunks, and uh, and, and you know see if I could uh, if I can get some inside info. But he was you know being mysterious, and he uh, he don't want to tell yet, and I don't think he knows either. So <laughs> so we'll see. He's gonna surprise us for sure. Presented by your New England Ford dealers, built for America. Built Ford Proud.